Hey, what's going on guys? So today I've got another quick little sort of tutorial video. I'm gonna go over how to make leopard spots on a kit. And it's really easy to just paint some leopard spots on something, if that's something you wanna do. I have a feeling this is probably not something that a lot of people are gonna be so interested in, but last time we saw this little damn board guy here, we made his custom little Sturmfost, Penzerfost? What did I call it in that video? I don't remember, but anyway. Uh, and in the meantime, I've gone ahead and just painted the bottom half of him using, what color was this? It was the dark sea gray, which is really a little bit more green than gray, but it's, anyway, it's got a little bit of mix of green and gray in there. And then the top half, I'm gonna do uh, that in field gray. So field gray too, very common machine and Krieger color. So I'm going for a machine and Krieger paint scheme for this, and I wanna do some leopard spots. Here for the leopard spots, I'm gonna be using uh, this is number 31, dark gray one, and number 36, uh, this is RLM 74 green gray. Now, all these are lacquers. I'm just doing this all hand-painted lacquer machine and Krieger style. You can do this however you want using uh, enamels or acrylics as well. Just make sure you know which paints work which way if you guys are unfamiliar with how paints work. I'll put a link to a really useful article down below. I, it's not something that I wrote, but it's usually what I refer to people every time I get asked about types of paint and things like that. It's a really good article about that, so if you want to learn more about which types of paints uh, work together or not, uh, just check that article in the link down below. But anyway, so uh, what my plan is for this is to have some leopard spots here on the bottom half and the top half of the color will just kind of be like covering that up. So I, that's why I got the bottom half uh, color here painted already. We're gonna paint some leopard spots on this and then I'll paint the top half uh, down over that so they'll be kind of drawn out. The idea came from, uh, if you see like kind of black leopards, they usually are like, they'll be like very dark, but usually more so on the underside, you can see the spots a little bit more. And then as the fur goes up towards the top of the animal, uh, the black gets too dark and so you can't see the spots at all. So that was kind of my original idea for this color scheme anyway. So let's get into it. And uh, we're gonna do the lighter color first. So usually with leopard spots, you'll have some that are just plain like black spots and then some that have like a little, usually a lighter color and then a darker color, basically black, kind of blotches around the outside of that. First of all, let me just get some protection down here because I ain't trying to mess up my good cutting mat here. And so you want to start with the lighter color, the color that you're going to use for inside the spot first. Also, if you're doing it like this, hand painting with lacquers and such, you're going to need to use some leveling thinner. I've just, uh, I'm using Mr. Color Paint, so I'm using Mr. Color Leveling Thinner as well with that. Really don't need a lot of this paint, only need like a little bit of it first here. Another thing, of course, about lacquers is make sure you wear a mask and you have proper ventilation. I have my mask, I just don't have it on while I'm talking to you guys. I'm gonna put it on as soon as I stop talking and I'm gonna turn my fan on as well, so I'll cut out the audio for you guys. Just get that thinned down a bit and get a brush. Really doesn't matter about the brush. Uh, this is just the brush I'm using, it's just a paintbrush, it's not really anything special at all. And then again, this is just gonna be for the inside of the dot circle shape, so you're just gonna put some dots on there randomly and that's pretty much it. Okay, so a change of color, sometimes you have to adapt here. Uh, for the inner uh, circle spot, that color was too close to the main color, so it was kind of basically invisible. So I'm gonna switch up to number 13, neutral gray, which is a little bit darker. This should stand out a little bit more. I want it to be not super high contrasty, so I want the colors to be close. That's why I'm not using black for the dark color, and that's why I'm using uh, this RLM gray green rather than black, because I don't want it to be super dark, I want it to be close. So anyway, let's try this color here instead. So you can see we've got some spots laid down. So just need to give them just a little bit of time to dry. Uh, for lacquers, it really doesn't take all that long for these to dry well enough. Of course, it'll take longer for them to totally cure, but for the time being, basically they should be ready to go for us to move on to our other colors. So for the darker color, like I said, uh, this time you're just going to basically just try to make kind of like some C shapes, sort of like around there, around the lighter spots, just to kind of frame them a little bit. I think if you go in and make like a full circle around there, it probably gonna, is gonna look a little bit unnatural. You usually don't see spots that look like that, but again, the good thing about just doing this by hand is that you can just be like really random about it, and it's just the more random it looks, just the more natural it'll look, right? So. 
just, uh, yeah, it's really simple. Eh? So let's go for it. All right, so there we go. Once all that is finished painting, here is how it turned out. So that's just a really basic idea of how you can paint leopard spots. If you guys have any other uh, suggestions, any other way that if you've tried and done that in a different way, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I'll pin those comments so other people can check out those other ideas and advice as well. But for now, I'm gonna take this guy into some decaling and weathering, and then I'll let you guys have a look once he's all done and big netted up. And that's it for the video, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Leave any other questions or comments there down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.